This is a video about AWS Boto3, where Boto3 is a Python module for Amazon Web Services. Using this, we can perform lots of operations on AWS services and resources. This particular video, I am focusing on how to describe instances by applying filters. After that, I'll show how to perform certain operations like start, stop, terminate, and so on. Boto3 offers different or various ways to implement this particular logic. Let's go through the code. I am using PyCharm editor for this. On my machine, I configured access keys and secret keys using which Boto3 interacts with my AWS account. Let's go and create a Python file for our example. I am calling it as EC2 filters. Primarily, we should import Boto3 module. For this particular example, I want to get reference to the resource of EC2. That let's do using boto3.resource and the resource type is EC2 in this case. Let's refer this return type in a variable called as EC2. Using this EC2, there are certain methods, we call them as collections basically. Let's get that. So we have ec2.instances.filter. If you see Boto3 documentation, that's the resource we got. So on that resource, we have instances. On this instances, we have filter. In our case, right, we're not passing instance IDs to this. We want to pass instance state, that is, which is in running state, and stop them. If you scroll down, we have checking what instances are running. Here, see these guys are using filters which is having name and the name is instance state name and the values are running so we can use the same filter in our example and we can stop them or even we can store that in a variable filters equals that filter here this we can take out right so this is going to return back list of ec2 instances let's check this method details in aws boto3 documentation so this is the method we are using this is your ec2 resource on that instances and dot filter if you see the syntax of filter it is array of filters so where each entry is an object a complex object which has name and values let's go and check what we can pass to these filters so under this parameters we have filters we can do filter based on the following attributes let's say you want to get all ec2 instances running in a specific availability zone you can put this as a filter if you want to get something specific to architecture you can put this one as a filter so if you scroll down right we have this instance state name this is the filter we are using currently and based on this filter name these are the possible values like pending running and other options here so we are filtering based on running state so this is going to return back all running ec2 instances and if you check the return type right see this one the return type is list of ec2 instances if you check this instance object here so on this instance we can call stop which is going to stop all the instances which are in running state that is what we are doing in this code so coming to this filter right we are giving a name which is instance state name and we are trying to fetch all instances which are in running state and we are passing that filter to this filter function so on this return type we are calling stop this internally loops through all ec2 instances and it's going to call stop method on every running ec2 instance so let's execute this code and see the output so before doing that let me show my aws management console and which instance is running there Currently, we have two EC2 instances which are in running state. So let's execute this code and check the results. The code execution completed successfully. Let's get back to 
the management console let's reload this page and check the results see that it's stopping these two running instances here so that's all about the demo thank you